in this video we're going to do some more work with them on client expansions. I'm assuming a good level of knowledge by now. If you're still not cool with it, please do check as we'll go through a few of these questions fairly quickly. It says using the McLaren expansion of a natural log of 1 plus x, show that the natural log of the quantity 1 plus x divided by 1 minus x is equal to 2, the quantity x plus x cubed over 3 plus x to the fifth over 5, and so on, for x strictly greater than negative 1 and uh, strictly less and positive one. Then we need to deduce a series expansion from the natural log of a root of 1 plus x over 1 minus x, where x, again, is strictly greater than negative 1, yet in turn strictly less than 1. Okay, let's just look now at the following. What we've got is the natural log of 1 plus x. The McLaren expansion is x minus x squared over 2 plus x cubed over 3 minus x to the 4th over 4 plus x to the 5th over 5 and so on and so forth dot 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 and it's valid for x greater and strictly greater minus one yet in turn less or equal to positive one what we're going to do now is look at this right here and we can use a log law we've got a quotient here if we've got a quotient we can express this as a difference so i can write this as a natural log of one plus x minus the natural log of one minus x and that's a basic log law we know so what we'll do, we'll find the expansion, which we've got here, and then we'll subtract away the natural log of 1 minus x. So let's start with the natural log of 1 plus x. We know now that that's got our x minus x squared over 2 plus x cubed over 3 minus x to the 4th over 4 plus x to the 5th over 5, valid for x strictly greater than minus 1, yet in turn less or equal to positive 1. If we now take the expansion of of a natural log of 1 minus x. We looked at this in a video or two back. All we're doing is swapping x for minus x. So we get minus x minus minus x squared over 2. Then we get plus minus x cubed over 3. Then we get minus minus x to the fourth over 4. And then we get plus minus x to the fifth over 5. Now let's just consider the um, the uh, interval that this is valid for. What we've got now is minus x is going to be strictly greater than minus 1, yet in turn less or equal to positive 1. Dividing through by the negative 1, what we need to do is change the inequality signs. So we wind up with this scenario, which of course we could express now as x is greater or equal to negative 1, yet in turn less than positive 1. And you can see now that these two will give us the making of the inequality here where we've had to consider both inequalities and take the strictest interval and that strictest interval is where we've got from x negative one to uh, positive one which excludes both so that's a strict inequality and we're going to end up now with x is going to be greater than minus one yet in turn strictly less than positive one so let's just tidy this up now what we've got then is the natural log of 1 minus x is going to be equal to minus x minus x squared over 2 minus x cubed over 3 minus x to the fourth over 4 minus x to the fifth over 5. So if we take this one now and we subtract it away from this one, then we're going to end up with this one. Okay? So let's do that then. So let's subtract, let's do x minus x squared over 2 plus x cubed over 3 minus x to the fourth over 4 plus x to the fifth over 5. Subtract the quantity now x and that's negative. Negative x squared over 2, negative x cubed over 3, negative x to the fourth over 4 and negative x to the 5 over 5. So all we're doing is subtracting the 2. As you can probably see here, we're going to get x minus minus x, which will give me 2x. We're going to get minus a half x squared, minus minus half x squared, which will give us 0x squared. We'll get plus x cubed over 3, minus minus x cubed over 3, which will give us 2x cubed over 3. Minus x to the fourth over 4, minus minus x to the fourth over 4 is going to give us plus 0x to the fourth. They'll just cancel x to the fifth minus minus x to the fifth uh, over five. We're going to have two over five x to the fifth. So what have they done? They've taken a common factor of two out, haven't they? Um, yeah, they've just taken two out of it. So all we'd need to do now is express this and say two x plus. Now we get two over three, so we can end up with x over three cubed 
plus x over 5 to the fifth power and that is as required so that's what they've done and again that interval is the stricter of the two so we combine those terms we need to deduce a series expansion from the natural log of a root of exactly what we've just done let's first consider using our log laws and i'm going to rewrite this as a natural log of one plus x over one minus x to the half power we know the square root is a half power therefore we could write this now as one half the natural log of one plus x over one minus x so if we consider this one and this one all we're doing is taking half of what we've just found so taking half of it is just going to give us what's in the brackets here it's just going to give us this it's going to give us now x plus x cubed over three plus x to the fifth over five and so on and so forth just use the log law all we're doing is using log law we know that's a half power bring the half power down and multiply through okay by choosing a suitable value of x and using only the first three terms in the series in A, okay, so this one right here, find an approximation for the natural log of two thirds, giving your answer to four decimal places. Right, let's consider this then. So what we want to say then is that one plus, so the argument one plus x over one minus x is equal to two thirds. So what's that going to give us? Three plus three x is equal to two minus two x. So 5x is equal to minus 1, and x is going to be equal to minus 1 fifth. If you want to check that, um, that looks pretty good. Uh, that's going to give us 4 fifths and 6 fifths. 4 over 6 is going to give us 2 over 3. So that's perfectly fine. So what we need to do then is the following. All we need to do is sub this in. So we're going to say now 2, and then we're going to have minus 1 fifth. Subbing it into this one. We're subbing it into the first three terms. Then we're going to get minus 1 over 5. In fact, let's write that a bit neater that was awful um, so what we're going to have now is minus 1 over 5 and then that's going to be now cubed and that will be over 3 plus minus 1 over 5 to the power of 5 over 5 let's whack this through a calculator so if I now put in negative 0 0.2 that's going to be my answer it'll save me putting it in each time so what we're going to have is the following we're going to have two lots of my answer and then we're going to have plus and I can put now my answer uh, what we're going to have, answer cubed over 3 and then what we're going to have is the following we're going to plus this now to my answer to the power of 5 over 5 and then we'll close off our bracket so that looks good hopefully I've got all that in there and that gives us now uh, 4055. So negative 0 0.4055. So let's just check that. That looks good. Okay, so I've rounded that to four decimal places. If you want to store this value in here, what you can do is hit Shift, Store, and then we all, and we can put it in as A. So that's in as A. So now if you want to bring that back, recall A, it's just there. If you wanted to put it in at uh, B, C, D, E, or F, you can do. So let's now look at um, what the, the good thing to do here is just check the natural log of two thirds because then this will give you um, some idea of if we're any close. So that's that's pretty good. That's good. Um, that's pretty handy. That's what we wanted to see. If that was something completely different, we might look at what we were doing and check that we'd done it correctly. But that, that's good to go. Okay. Now, what we need to do is show that the first three terms of your series in B with x equals now 3 over 5 is a good approximation for the natural log of 2, which is correct to two decimal places. If we consider now, let's sub this in. So what we want is 3 fifths. If I put this in here, what we're going to have now is the natural log of, and we'll say to the half power, 1 plus 3 over 5 and then over 1 minus 3 over 5, and that's all to the half power. So if we consider now what I've got here, um, that's going to give me 8, and that's going to give me now, what's that going to give me? 2. So what we can say then is, combining this fraction, we're going to have 8 over 2, and then that's to the half power. So what have we got here? We've got the natural log of 4 to the half, which of course is the natural log of 2. So by simply plugging this in here, 
what we can do now remember we've got the, the expansion of this we've done earlier the expansion of that is simply now going to be um, x plus x cubed over 3 plus x to the fifth over 5 because we add half of it so all we would need to do now to get an approximation for the natural log of 2 is sub in 3 fifths on 0 0.6 into here we can see by subbing it into that we end up with the natural log of 4 to a half which is the natural log of 2 so all we've got to do now is sub in 0 0.6 here or 3 fifths so what I'm going to do is uh, write this out let's in fact let's write this out here so what we're going to have then is we'll take x to be equal to uh, 3 fifths and what we'll do is sub it into here so we're going to have now 3 over 5 then we're going to have plus and this is going to be 3 over 5 to the power of 3 over 3 plus 3 over 5 to the power of 5 over 5 and this should hopefully now give us an approximation to the natural log of 2. So let's do this in. So if we put in 0.6, there's my 3 fifths. So I'm going to do answer. Then I'm going to add now my answer to the power of 3. And we're going to put that now to the power of 3 over 3. And then what we're going to do now is plus, And then we will do answer to the power of 5 all over 5. And then this will give me now 0. And what do I want it to? Uh, two decimal places. So what's that going to be? 0. 0.69 okay so let's just put that to two decimal places 0 0.69 in the exam you might want to put your full uh, your full value here but 0 0.69 is to two decimal places and remember that is an approximation okay so we might want to put it equal so let's put this now roughly equal to 0 0.69 correct to 2dp uh, to 2dp so let's put that Okay, so let's now look if, if that is the case. If we now think about this, um, the natural log of 2, uh, let's put this in, natural log of 2 gives us, there we go, 0 0.69 okay 693 and so on and so forth so that was an approximation obviously the more terms we use in this expansion the better it will become as an approximation but we all we have to do is show it to two decimal places so there we go quite a nice question and we've been through it fairly quickly as i'm assuming now that you're fairly well not fluent but happy with what we've looked at before if you're not cool and you thought that's a little too fast for you please go back and look at the basics and it should make sense